Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Manuel Quintana, training manager here at Pragmatic Works. And in today's video, we're going to take the opportunity to maybe acknowledge something you may have noticed. Fabric trials expiring. So let's go ahead and just dive into what you need to be aware of and some of the things you might be wanting to do now. Before we begin, want to learn more about Power BI and Fabric? Visit prag.works slash Manuel40 to get a 40% discount on one of our annual learning subscriptions to over 100 courses. All right, so you can see I'm over here. I've just gone over browser of choice, logged into Power BI. As mentioned, you can see right here, uh, 20 days left on the trial. So we can see just here in the upper right corner, letting me know how much time is left. And you know what, you've probably noticed at one point that trial timer did start counting down at some point, and then you might've had some days added back in. Who's to say that might not just happen again, but you can't just rely on that. As we're gonna see, you may be unaware of, well, what happens when the trial ends? What happens with the workspaces that I have uh, used? Or what about, how about the workspaces I've assigned to other people? Maybe you weren't even aware of that, right? Uh, per, per tenant, effectively, the limitation there was that five users within an organizational tenant were able to sign up for trials. And that was it. Some individuals may have, you know, in your company, organization, colleagues of yours might have been like, I tried to sign up for the trial, but I'm on a premium per user. Maybe it's some just some other type of trial. It wasn't a fabric trial. Five trial capacities available per tenant. So there's that one thing. Now, that being the said, you were able to actually add additional users. So if I have a trial capacity, but my buddy here, Austin, did not, and he wanted to work with stuff, I could either invite him to one of my workspaces, but he could just create his own, and I could assign his workspace to my trial capacity. So that was something you could do. So time's running out. We can see that. What are the impacts of this? So there's a couple of things. If you're pretty patient, and you might have seen the notification pop here that reminds you, and it would have said at some point, hey, your trial is running out, click here to learn more. It actually takes you to a very specific area. Now, I like to kind of keep those notifications cleaned out so you can see mine is gone. So if you have that notification, you can just click on that little link and it'll take you right to where we're about to go, but I'll show you how to go there manually. And this doesn't matter if you are a Power BI or a Fabric Administrator role assigned to you or not, right? I do have the Fabric Admin role assigned to me, so you're going to see this, all the options available to me when I go to the admin portal. The reason why I'm mentioning is possibly you're just, that's not a responsibility you deal with with administration in the service. So you might be less familiar with this area we're going to go to, but everybody, regardless of your role, as long as you have an account with Power BI, can go here. Just what you can see is going to be, it's going to be different, right? So in this case, we're going to be heading over to the admin portal. So if I go over here and hit the little settings option near the bottom here, you can see there's an admin portal option. And this launches us right into that little area. And as you can see, once again, this is the view of an administrator. If you did not have this, your view would be something like this. So I'll bring up my other account here, Mr. PW Demo, and we'll go to admin portal. And you can see it still has the capacity settings. Now, in this case, I'm using this account. I've actually assigned a workspace for Mr. PW Demo here to my trial capacity. But you'll notice this individual as a user really can't do anything here, right? So individually, right, they could go into their actual workspace because obviously you know they're the admin of their own workspace and they can go ahead and make this type of adjustment which just in case i'll show you how to do that but i'll do it from my account but any workspace admin can effectively change within the workspace settings effectively the workspace type which is the critical piece at the end of the day that's what you need to be aware of but why and what's the time limit here it isn't exactly when the trial ends but you shouldn't wait that long let me show you why Right. If we go back to my account where we're in the admin settings, I can go over to my capacity settings. Now here you're going to have multiple options. Um, I happen to have access to a premium capacity. So a P SKU, that terminology could be kind of phasing out by the end of this year into next. I do also have um, some Power BI embedded. That's actually my account itself. Hence why I have this tab here. And then also we have trial. This is the one we really care about. Now, I do have some uh, on-demand fabric capacities, as you can see here. Uh, you can see there's actually one active at the moment, so the other one's been paused. But what we're in, really interested in so we can understand what the impact of this trial expiring is, right here, right? You can see fabric trial capacity expiration telling us what's going on, but here's the most important thing. Your non-Power BI items will be permanently deleted after seven days, right? So as soon as that trial goes away, in seven days, it's gone. So you don't want to lose that work, right? So we effectively need to go through the process and switch these workspaces off of these trial accounts. Now, there's a possibility, obviously, that different trials in here are going to be under different types of try, uh, trial limitation timeframes, depending on when it was signed up as. 
So I'm going to go into mine. You can see I have mine down here. These are the five for my organization. But if I go into my trial account, we can get the information. Of course, there's other fun stuff here that you could have leveraged while you had the trial. The whole thing is, okay, well, what workspaces are using my trial capacity, which are going to be impacted by this, which are going to lose any non-Power BI workloads? And just under this workspace assigned to this capacity, this is the list. And as you can see, I happen to have quite a few items in here. 10 per page, up to three pages, the third page not completely full, but still, I've got quite a bit in here. And the way you would do this through the UI, honestly, I mean, you could just go right through here and I could find just one specific, uh, you know, workspace in here. We see the Dakota uh, Bootcamp, right? If I, were, if I was just to pick one of these guys, so I'll do this one, Power BI Developer Fabric. So if I go over to my list of workspaces, we'll go over there and check this out real quick. It was my Learn with the Nerds right here. You can see I'm going to be inside this workspace. You can see that this is using the trial right here. And this, all of this will go away, right? This the data flow gen two lake house pipeline gone seven days after my trial expires. So what I need to do is actually go in under workspace settings. You can go here under the license information and you can just hit edit. And this is where you do have to make that choice. And you can see it reminds us here when we look at it, that this is under a trial. It tells you right here, it's under a current license as a trial. And all you need to do is make a valid decision in order to maintain this. And those only options for maintaining this is going to be fabric capacity and at the moment, premium capacity. But do not forget, as I mentioned, that we're going to, uh, Microsoft is going to be phasing out P SKUs or premium capacities throughout the rest of this year. Effectively, when your renewal date comes up, you're going to be shifted over to a fabric capacity, F SKU. Um, and then sometime within 2025, that, that'll probably just go away, right? So this is a process that's been announced. And it's going to be ongoing. So for now, at the time of this recording, either premium capacity or fabric capacity, that's it. So you just need to make that choice. So for this one, if I want to save what I've got, I got to go over here. In this case, I'll just switch this one over to my premium capacity. I'll choose my capacity in question, and then I'll simply hit select license. This now has updated this workspace. You can see it's right here. I'm at no worry or concern for losing these fabric artifacts. And like I said, it'd be the same if I were to chose, have chosen my fabric capacity. We're good and in business. Now, if we go back, this is one thing to consider, right? Um, through the user interface, if we go back to the admin portal piece where we can go actually and look at my list of assigned workspaces. So I go back here, capacity settings, give that a moment. I'll go back to that little trial element here and we can see this. I have quite the list here. And once again, if there's a user who doesn't have a trial, they don't get to see anything in capacity settings. So like PW Demo, he can't go here and see it. He would just have to recognize, oh, okay, I have an actual workspace right here. My workspace in question is fabric, right? It's a fabric content, it's the same thing. If he were to go to workspace settings and go to license info, this will be seen, right? License, uh oh, I gotta change that. He's a workspace admin, so technically he can, but you'll notice this individual does not have access to our premium capacity, nor do they have access as admins to the fabric capacity. So this individual, actually, even though they're a workspace admin, they can't change this to anything. So this is something that would be concerning, and they would just need to reach out to one of the fabric admins and let them know, hey, you know, so-and-so set my workspace up using a trial capacity. I don't want to lose it. Can you move this over to the fabric or premium capacity that I know we have? Um, maybe they'll invite you as an admin, right? It depends, obviously, situationally, you know, where, what access you're supposed to have. But this is an individual who wouldn't be able to remedy this issue. He's going to have to rely on someone who has been granted access into either the premium capacity or fabric capacity to reassign this workspace. So very, very, very important. And obviously, this is, a for me, a rather large list of trials. And this is just one of the five capacities in our tenant. The UI really only allows us to recognize and see which capacities are here. And the process I just showed you is the only option we really have. There's no like mass migration from a user interface experience. Now there is the admin APIs available to us. There is, I haven't myself gone through that route, but I'm fairly certain there's more than likely a way that you can simply just with a workspace ID, effectively reassign it to a different license type. Um, but like I said, I myself haven't gone through that. So that, could potentially uh, provide us a more efficient way to kind of almost do things in bulk, right? Um, so yeah, that's a small consideration. Probably also this look at this list that kind of allows a user, reminds a user to maybe clean up, like in my case, some of those workspaces that might no longer be being leveraged. But this is the important thing, right? We do have to be very aware, guys, 
of the timer that is available to us. And you want to start taking some steps now in ensuring that you will not lose those artifacts. And if you are just kind of going through a process right now in just testing stuff out, you want a little bit more time. Unfortunately, that trials, it could, days could get added. But just in case to be aware, in the introduction to Fabric, we have a couple of other YouTube videos around it. We talk about like what the idea is around licensing, how you can get capacity. And for, let's say, an F2 on-demand Fabric capacity, this is something that you can provision directly through the Azure portal, which once again, it can be paused and started. You could just provision an F2 capacity move over your workspace to that capacity and then just turn it off just pause it so those artifacts you can't really run them you can't leverage them you can't do anything while it's off of course but you don't lose them right they're available they're tied to this capacity which you are in control because it's only it's a pay-as-you-go service so that is potentially an option there where you just want to manage and control that remember though it is an azure service it is pay-as-you-go so you need to be controlling when it's on when it's off so that you can manage those costs so just be aware there is a cost to it, you just have to be responsible for it. But that potentially could be an option. If you don't have a fabric capacity or a premium right now, maybe consider going into that F2 pay-as-you-go option just to preserve your workspaces and the artifacts that are contained within there. Because, I mean, there's so much we've been doing, so much we've been looking at, fabrics changing every single day, so it's always very exciting. So hopefully that all makes sense. Hopefully this brings this information to your attention so you can probably start planning right now as soon as you see this video because that timer will have started counting down even from when i recorded this as always i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one